I've got a Garmin Drive 51 LM that's basically dead in the water, doesn't power up, doesn't do anything. It's not very old. Uh, I'm going to crack it open and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. So there's uh, four torque screws here on the back. Never opened one of these up before, so uh, don't know what to tell you. But I see that I can pry it and it kind of pops open. So I'm going with that. So I was able to get the GPS to fire up again uh, by re-seating this connector here. It's a zero insertion force connector. It's got a brown tab that clicks down and it wasn't held in very well. It might have come up due to the heat or maybe maybe it got dropped or something and popped out. But anyway, it's, uh, it's back now and working. So at the moment it's working and I'm going to try to lock that connector in place with some super glue. Never know, this may uh, cause it to fail, but it might make it more stable. We've got it glued down, and I'm going to hit it with some accelerant, and that'll cure that uh, adhesive. This glue is non-conductive, by the way, if you're wondering about that. So that causes the adhesive to uh, immediately start to cure. I'm going to hit, hit it with some more. As you know, I want a, a reliable GPS. I don't want one that's going to be conking out on me. If I'm going to use it, I want to trust it. Here we go. Got the glue on there. I'm going to give it a minute to harden up. And hopefully when I put it back together, it's still going to work. Still working. It's a miracle. It has these four little screws, kind of hold it in place. Too bad they didn't uh, solder those connections. I guess, uh, you know, these things aren't meant to last forever. But I guess I'm really kind of surprised it even lasts as long as it does because, uh, you know, being out in the car and the heat and the, uh, the cold, the thermal cycles it sees, I'm surprised it even works. Still working. Uh, I guess I'll leave the question mark on there because I'm still, uh, 
still not a hundred percent convinced, but, uh, I did go in and lock it down with some super glue and hit it with some accelerant. So it should be maybe, hopefully, a little more reliable than it was. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.